Hi, Joey here with Celestial Fire Glass. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a custom glass flame guard for your outdoor fire pit. This is a very easy do-it-yourself project that anyone can take on. First, let's talk about why you might need a flame guard. You'll notice that with the breeze, the flames are blowing all over the place. Not really something you want to happen when you're hanging around your fire pit with your friends and family. The good news is that a flame guard is all you need to solve this problem. As you can see, when I place the flame guard around the burner, the flames are much more controlled. No more jumping back to avoid the hot flame. Since the flame guard keeps the flame centered in your burner pan, you'll see less black soot build up in your fire glass and on the burner's edges. And if you have a large burner pan, keeping the flame centered will keep the pan from getting warped. That happens when the lip around the pan gets too hot. Here's one thing to keep in mind. If you live on the beach or in a location with high winds, a flame guard is only going to help a little. For extremely windy locations, I recommend you make a taller flame guard, 8 inches or more. This should offer some additional protection. Now, let's talk about how to size your flame guard. You want the flame guard to sit outside your burner pan by about 2 to 3 inches on all sides. This will keep the flame from touching the glass barrier. You also want to be sure the size is proportional to your burner. I recommend you measure the inside of your burner pan, then add five and a half inches. This will be the ideal size for the flame guard and should be your starting point when determining the final size. It will allow the flame guard to sit outside the burner pan by about two and three quarters of an inch on each side. If you want to, you can go with a slightly smaller size. You want to use your best judgment to determine the ideal size for your fire pit. After all, the flame guard should look like it's designed exclusively to fit your fire feature. So feel free to make changes to the size so that everything looks well balanced. Now that you know the size of the flame guard you want to build, you can determine the size of the glass panels you will need. Let's talk about height first. The most common height for flame guards is 6 inches. This is a good height because it provides protection, but it isn't so high that you can't fully enjoy the fire. If you'd like, you can go up to 8 inches tall, but again, I only recommend this if strong wind is a constant problem at your location. To figure out the length of the glass panels, you want to start with the flame guard length you decided on earlier. Then, subtract 1 inch from that to determine the length of the glass panels. You're subtracting 1 inch because the corner connectors add half an inch to each end, making the assembled flame guard 1 inch longer than the glass panels. Do this for both length and width of your flame guard. Now that you know the size of the glass panels to order, you want to decide the thickness of the glass. I recommend using tempered glass that's 3 16 of an inch thick. However, if you want, you can go up to a quarter inch thickness. Next, you want to contact your local glass store and order the four glass panels. Let them know the size and thickness you want. Tell them it should be standard tempered glass with polished edges. You don't need high temperature ceramic glass, which is very expensive. Standard tempered glass is good up to 470 degrees, which is more than sufficient for an outdoor fire pit. You'll also need the hardware to connect panels together. Typically, glass doors won't have this. If they don't, you can purchase your hardware directly from the Celestial Fire Glass website. Our flame guard connection kits are made of rugged, weatherproof aluminum. Now that you have your glass panels and hardware, it's time to assemble your flame guard. Choose a sturdy, flat surface for your work area. Starting with the first panel, connect the top and bottom brackets to each end of the panel. The brackets should be flush with the top and bottom of the glass. Be sure the screw tips in the brackets have a plastic tip. This ensures the metal tip of the screw doesn't touch the glass, which will cause breakage. Now, on your flat surface, attach the end panels with the feet facing upwards. Having the feet facing upwards will make aligning the glass panels much easier. Once all of your panels are connected, go back and check the screws are nice and tight. I find that a long screwdriver is easier to grip since it gives my knuckles some turning room. If the screws are properly tightened, you should be able to handle your flame guard without the panel shifting in the bracket. And now, you're ready to go. Place your new flame guard around your burner and enjoy a beautiful contained fire. If you have any questions at all about assembling your flame guard, please reach out to us at Celestial Fire Glass. We're always here to answer your questions and help in any way we can.